All right, folks, it's time for something that I don't usually do, and that is a direct comparison of three different knives. One, two, three. These are all Bowie knives, all in the same price range. To make it fair, First impression, I'm going to tell you which one I prefer right now, just handling it. That is this. This has the most comfortable handle. Very standard handle, nicely rounded, flares toward the end to keep it in your hand. It's got a guard, good heft to it, nice long blade. Next up, it thins out toward the guard and toward the back. This is a bit of a concern compared to the other design because this is way more likely to just come flying out of your hand if you don't pay close attention and have a good grip on it, especially if it gets slippery. Uh, in terms of comfort, it's all right. And the blade looks good. And now the worst of the bunch in terms of initial impression. This is basically a fantasy wall hanger piece of junk as far as my initial biased opinion is concerned. This does not look like the most practical thing <laughs> I've ever tried and is by far the most uncomfortable handle. I have rarely held a handle this uncomfortable and clunky and ridiculous. I mean, look at it. It's all square, not rounded. It's, it's, it's overly thick, it's horrendous. But we're gonna see how they perform. Oh, did you hear that? A vibrational sound in that. That's probably not a good thing. Oh yeah, I'll come a little closer so you can hear that. And I hope the audio is okay overall. It is a windy day. I'm using a, a windscreen on my lavalier mic to hopefully mitigate that. Let's see if you can if you can hear that. A little bit concerning. Let's test the sharpness. I don't have paper on me right now, so I'm just gonna do the thumbnail test. This one does not slide off the thumbnail, which is nice. That's a very good sign. Let's see if it shaves. Just about, it's kind of a rough shaving sharp edge. Let's see how it does on this random piece of wood, of which there are many here. Oh yeah. Yep, no problem in terms of sharpness. Next one. Nail test. Yep. No problem. Also bites. Shaving. No, no, not really. Again, kind of rough shaving sharp, but it's a, it's a good functional edge. Cutting. Oh yeah. No problem at all. I would say this one is slightly better, although that may just be because of the extra mass in the blade. It's helping out. Oh yeah, no problem at all. Okay, now the Maul Rambo special. Yeah, slides right off the thumbnail. There's no way this is gonna shave. Nope. All right. Oh yeah, that's, that's no good. Maybe okay for debarking, but... Uh, eh, nah, do not like. All right, next up, chopping. Let's see how it does. Oh, it it chops well, but the handle not super comfortable. Quite a bit of hand shock here. Let's see on the other side with a glove. 
Okay, it's fine with a glove. Definitely more comfortable, but it feels really slippery. It feels like this is gonna come out of my hand anytime. Mm, yeah, so right here in this transition, there's a hot spot. That's rubbing on my hand there. Next one. Oh yeah, there we go. I think I need, need another piece of wood. Oh yeah, this is a proper handle. That one is not giving me any hand shock at all. I will also try the other side. Yeah, that's all right. My left arm is still weak after the tendonitis, but um, yeah, it works. No problem. So, so far, in terms of both edge and handling and chopping performance, this one here is winning. Yeah, not too keen on this handle. There we go. Better. Yeah, this is definitely not coming out of my hand. Nice. is decent but it seems to glance off a little bit it doesn't bite as well due to the factory edge that it came with Yeah, so it chops well, but the square shape here, along with the ridges, not very pleasant. So this is definitely more of a blister generator. I think this one here you could use for hours, even without gloves, and wouldn't get a lot of blisters, if any. This one, not gonna be as pleasant of an experience. Chops pretty well, actually. Better than I would have guessed. Okay. Okay, so for chopping, number one. Second place, third. All right, batoning. Here, this one's going to be at a bit of a disadvantage just because of the shorter blade, but we'll see how it goes. Even when batoning, there's a bit of hand shock, but not too bad. Also do it this way. All right, this of course is very easy. Small piece. 
next here we've got plenty of real estate to work with and that's getting way too small these are not going to be perfectly even of course because I, I don't have identical pieces of wood to test on each one all right again the handle shape helps on this one and plenty of blade so that makes it very easy now on to you yeah this is not going so well and this is this one is also going to wreck the baton because of the serrations well root saw or whatever this is intended to be uh basically i barely even want to test this at all for batoning because it just it's just not the design for it well batoning the handle does not seem to be a problem on this at least i'm not noticing anything okay so yeah. for batoning first place second and third So what about the versatility? This one here has a finger troil, so you can choke up that way if you wanted to. It's not very practical because of the guard here, but technically you could. Of course, you know, push cuts, things like that, drawing, that's all going to be fine. No false edge on any of them. This one, you've got plenty of blade to work with. No finger troil, but there is a Rakaso, And this does not have the guard on both sides. So you can handle that in a number of ways. Again, pushing, drawing, no problem. Very comfortable. This one, well, <laughs> it's got a finger troil, but again, the guard here and you can't really meaningfully choke up on that anyway uh, push cut i would not recommend for obvious reasons uh, pinch grip no no there's, there's not a whole lot you can do with this basically you hold it here that's about it in terms of versatility it does have the serrations here just a small length of serrated edge there There are fairly large gaps in between. It's not the sharpest. Well, they are pointy, of course, but the valleys in between are not terribly sharp. And I mean, this would do very well for cutting rope, for example. Oh, this year, yeah, I can only imagine root saw, something like that. Not sure what they were thinking about the cutouts there. Just to reduce weight, I suppose. Probably doesn't make that much of a difference. I mean, I'm not a bushcraft guy, so maybe somebody knows what this would be useful for. In terms of durability, I bet on these two. This is nice thick steel. This one is quite a bit thinner and it's got the cutout, so this could break at some point if you're rough with it. I mean, anything can break, of course. So I was debating with myself about whether or not I want to do the direct test edge on edge, but uh, I really don't want to because it's just, it's a very predictable result. Both of them are going to be nicked. Pretty bad edge damage. Um, is one of the two going to be better, better than the other in that regard? I doubt it because the blade geometry is very, very similar. However, I might do these two because I have a feeling this steel is not going to be as good. Mm. Okay, okay, screw it. Screw it, we'll do it. Why am I doing this? Oh. That's just painful. Let's so maybe do one in the center. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Oh, man. Oh, okay. So I just pulled a piece of steel out of this blade that I took out of the other one. Hmm. Did not expect that. I expected this or this one to stand up better. In fact, it did. 
on the first one, this nick or gouge or whatever, whatever is a lot deeper than that. But here, ooh, I mean, this one did suffer too. I'm not sure why I did that. <laughs> This is, this is not the greatest test and it's just painful. I'm not going to do that with the other one.